was here. But he's just, he was here. Hello, it's the app. Welcome. I'm a little low energy today, boys. For real? Yeah. Let us pick you up, Kay. Let us yeah, pick let's you pick up. Let's get me you up. up. Let's fucking scoop you up. I'm about Please. to hold you up like goddamn Simba. Mm-hmm, like type, the type shit. Like the Iwo Jima boys. Did you guys see Spotify just invented the radio? Yeah. <laughs> that was huge. Yeah. Huge. That's like the one guy who tried to invent... Uh, renting a personal chef in a building with other people. <laughs> You're like, that's a restaurant. Yeah, that is a restaurant. <laughs> like, yeah. you, can't, you can't afford a personal chef. Go to this building. When well, Elon mm. Musk tried to invent the, the tube yes. in LA, it was like, that's a subway. You invented a subway. Yeah. I, I think that's just how all inventions work. We just reinvent. I mean, it's happening right now with cable, right? Yeah. They're just like, hey, you have to buy 16 different streaming platforms. Like, well, can you bundle them together? <laughs> and then I'll be, be nice. Yeah, I'll pay more. Yeah, and I'll just pay, like, Comcast? Is that cool? Okay. We're regressing to the iPod shuffle, too. Yes. They're like, this is like a, mi- a mystery song playlist <laughs> gadget. Yes. You, you don't know what you're going to hear next. You can't decide. That'd be but it's, great. There's, like, an air of mystery, and, and it's going gonna, gonna to sell for a lot. There's, there's no screen for yeah. distractions. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah, no, this yeah. is for pure music lovers. Imagine if it, we peaked at iPod shuffle. It'll put you to sleep. I loved the no iPod screen shuffle. time. I love the iPod shuffle, it won't, too. It won't distract you on your nights. Yeah, the battery lasts forever, like, no blue light. <laughs> Take what was off those Felix Grays? The you don't size of it. a stamp. <laughs> what was the Spotify thing? I didn't see that. They created radio. They're like, now we'll, you'll be able to listen to all your podcasts live on demand. <laughs> like live mm-hmm. and maybe even concerts live. It's like, but so... And then how do we listen to it after when we miss it live? Well, then it becomes a podcast. There was a dude hyping it up. Just be like, imagine hearing Joe Rogan like as he's recording yeah, the podcast. Yeah, like imagine being able to call into right. Joe Rogan's show. All right. And like, <laughs> it, you know, in the Subway Hot Fresh line. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they want to throw the bag at us, though. Yeah. What do you think the next thing to be reinvented will be? Mm. 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 Cable's in going on right now. Typewriters. I think Netflix is going to start putting their shows in books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also think I think newspapers are going to have a comeback. Okay. Mm-hmm. People will be like, you know what? It's similar to the iPod Shuffle. Like, I'm sick of staring at the screen all day. I want to take my my reading material on the go. Mm-hmm. Newspaper. I mean, newsletters have made a comeback. Newsletters have made the a comeback. Fuck, uh, do, do any of you read a newsletter? No. Any newsletter? You don't subscribe to any what newsletters? Do I do? No. I, th- I think that there's like, I don't know if it's just a class of people or there's just an economy where people are independent journalists and they're just cranking out yeah. newsletters. Freelancers I, I, can't do that. I don't know what the benefit is. I can't imagine doing that. Like email newsletters. It's just like, a, it's panhandling basically. It's just like you're mm-hmm. guaranteed giving the person, three. what is it, $3 a day? $3 a month probably. Oh, three, a, a month, there's I a bet. charge. Yeah. I think there is a charge for most newsletters. It's kind of bullshit. Are you subscribed to any magazines? I think that's another big one that's Dude, coming back. Dude, magazines. I was reading. I miss magazines. I mm-hmm. hope they do come back. Before we flew back yesterday yeah, from I'm Detroit, sure. there was a magazine. It was uh, like Yacht Monthly, and it was just <laughs> pictures of yachts. And I don't know how many people subscribe to Yacht Monthly. Uh not enough. One, right. One person for a million a month. Uh, sure. Is that something? Maybe. <laughs> That's the thing. We should Katie, We should do a should, Yak newsletter. Yeah, we should. But we should also do like a we should do a that. super high-end one. Yes. Where it's like only yachts and private planes. A press newsletter? Yes. yes. A magazine. A zine. A zine, if you will. They, yeah, uh, these zines. There's like Cigar Aficionado is yeah. kind of one of the more high class. I guess yachts a little bit, a step above mm-hmm. cigar. It only exists for... Like the aver- old school advertisers to put their advertisements right. in the magazine, so then they print the magazine, but no one reads the magazine. But the advertisers keep it afloat. Did you guys? Uh, have, that's not uh, a yacht joke. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't a yacht joke. Uh, did you guys? But it have, worked. Uh, when you were kids, did you have like competitions to see who could sell the most magazines? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No. You did. Uh, yeah. Mike, I got paper. so many pizza parties. Wrapping paper was. You won pizza really? parties. Uh, mm-hmm. Wrapping paper. Yeah, that's what we had in Mississippi. A pizza party was if you sold the most uh, magazines individually. Your class got wow, a the class wide. Got a pizza Damn. party. Damn. So yeah. one was, person could carry the whole class. Mine was yeah. you won these things called weeples, which were just um, hmm. like pom poms with googly eyes on them. Are we talking about slave labor? You got paid yeah, in weeples for st- weeples. <laughs> essentially That's for your the slave opposite labor. Of Fed, you all singing bulls. songs as you were selling magazines. <laughs> and <does laughs> they still have weeples? 
I'll have to look him up. But the same I guy mean, would, coins are in. would come and uh, speak to us every year. Imagine he if was, Owens is a billionaire from Weeples. From Weeples, yeah, they've appreciated it. So you it. could use the Weeples to buy actual things? This was a currency? or No, it was just a collectible pom-pom with googly eyes. But he they slave labored you. He yeah. would come yeah. back every year. There were special editions. One year there was a Randy Jackson Weeple. Dude, we need to um, we Wait, uh, the judge of American Idol? Wait, yeah, yes. that's slave labor. What did he look like? It was just a Weeple with glasses. Can we we'll get see. these weeples? Yeah. <laughs> see if you can but find them. He was also he was the most interesting <laughs> guy ever. He was like 7'2". Uh, white white guy, guy? Yeah, the salesman. Mark Eaton was, was selling like, you the weeples? Um, I don't know. He Thank would you. come out. I, no, I just, yeah, I didn't get that. It is probably a f- guy who's seven foot two. Is it a seven uh, foot two man? George Merson, oh. but you can't say or not George Merson, Sean Bradley, but you can't say that. Yeah. Oh yeah, but um, he's. I guess no Mar- Mark Eaton was probably the most dated reference I could use in that scenario. <laughs> Apologize for that. Every year he would come out and like he treated it like he was like Jordan Belford. He was like pitching us on selling these. Well, magazines. he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, he you guys went. Crazy you were the penny for. stocks. Yeah, yeah. If he's he Jordan was Belford, too, he talked about how was he uh, representing a company or was he doing this on his own? I don't know. This could I'd have been have to, his own I'd little look genius thing he figured Colby out. Colby was back there nodding along to Weeples. You know Weeples? I remember those. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. And you guys have an age discrepancy. Spell so this it. has been. W e e p l e maybe, huh? Yeah. Oh no, p u l. It's a weeple. That is a bizarre thing. And he was so this massive guy, and he talked weeples. about how he had a career playing professional basketball and gave it up to to be to a weeple. Sling weeples. Yeah. What if it was Mark Eaton? It could have been Mark <laughs> Eaton, uh, the guy we all know and love. Brandon, up. you said you did the same thing though, but for pie. For pizza, yeah, pizza well, we, we would get certain certain things like uh, an extra an extra recess, shit like that for for the most magazines. But it was They're one just of those teaching things. kids how to be. It was also one of those things nine to five. where you would have to sell the stuff, and they would say you win a pizza party, you could win this, you win that. And I don't know that the prizes ever really came. Right. It was always like the, they they give you something to shoot for, but they really don't follow. Isn't through. that the greatest life lesson? Don't just work, don't. work, work, and you'll never actually achieve the things you want. Yeah. Also, a they pizza party. A pizza party costs forty dollars, and you just got you guys also slave labored for them for. You seem to be very against the idea of kids selling things. Why does it make sense that kids can just sell cook like uh, cookies? There's yeah. just a cookie pyramid yes. built off the, yes. the slave labor of young girls. And what do you get? A patch. You get, you get a, a patch. patch. Yeah, you get a. That's what you get, and a fucking brown outfit. You're dressed like the SS. They've ju- they've, oh they've actually God. figured out a way to just have child labor normalized. Not okay, Brandon. Uh, I didn't do it. No, it sounds like you did it. You're a child soldier. You're dating basically Joseph Coney. Just give him some guns. I haven't been a child soldier in 30 years. Make your Nikes, which you're wearing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. No. Weeples have been canceled. (gasps) Uh, I thought it was was the the Randy Randy Jackson Jackson one. Yeah, it felt like the Randy Jackson one. No. Brandon, ask. There's just a think piece that the Weeples are uh, the catalyst of a sales cult. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no Wait, shit. You, you needed you needed this article to figure that out. Wait, when did they get canceled? I mean, you were just in they were paying young ago. boys in pom pom. This is the office. Ex- Michael <laughs> yeah. Scott explaining a pyramid scheme. You just explained to us. But it was fun for the kid, <laughs> right? Because the weeples. The s- no, like because the six of the guy. and seven year olds had to bring their parents, so it was like sleigh labor for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, also, we were in like eighth grade. How many weeples oh. would you say that you <laughs> you accrued over the years? One, two. Couple of years. I think you need to get your parents to find your Weeple collection because I think mm-hmm. there's some value here. There is some Probably value. Is. The guy was incredible. Have you guys ever been scammed Jesus. by a magazine person? I've never been scammed by a magazine person. However, there were these kids that came to my house in Saltillo, Mississippi one time. There were four of them. And they said they were, Beat se- the shit out of you. They were selling Krispy Kreme donuts. And they said if... Uh, uh, they Subscription were, They were only taking cash, <laughs> but they would return with the donuts. And I thought it was like a scouting thing. And as soon as I gave them the money, they ran off laughing. And I, if I ever find those pieces of shit these days, I'm going to beat the fuck out of them. No, they deserve it. That's I bet you they changed what they were selling based off the appearance <laughs> yes. of the person. No, I was going to say, did, that was the perfect crime. Yeah. Yeah. They, they scouted just knock your on house. The, they, they knock did. on the door. They're just like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, this is yeah, this is for money. Donuts. They've okay. been scouting that house for months. They're like, well, there's a fat man who lives here, and he loves his donuts. They case the joint. <laughs> there's just a drawing of a donut on the sidewalk and chalk outside. <laughs> I, I close the, yeah. Like I closed the door when they were selling. I said, hold on. And I, I closed the door. And I hollered at my wife. Hey, you got twenty bucks? I want donuts. Get, I'm gonna get some donuts. And it's, I got the twenty. I gave it to him, and they ran off. And no, I, uh, kudos to those kids. Yeah, like, that, they're they knocking were on KB's door. 
were like, hey, we're selling towels. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah with uh, the, the world map on. <laughs> like, All right, yeah, twenty nine ninety nine a month. Yeah. Done. Sign me <laughs> up. Here we go. I do a map. <laughs> a map they also towel. didn't have to. I, would, I want a map towel yeah, right now. You, right I now. can't believe you don't have. Uh, why don't yeah, you have a map shower curtain? You would be the driest <laughs> guy. Yeah, a map shower curtain so you can look at the map while you shower. <laughs> You'd almost be too dry looking like a salt flat. No, I would just be almost dry. <laughs> so I put it up t- within ear view yeah. or eye view. Yeah. But Brandon, they didn't have to run away. No, I guess they didn't, but they did. They ran away. They just wanted to show you that they were robbing you. I saw their glee. A a man who will just willingly hand over money for for donuts isn't a runner. But the sad part of it is... (laughs) Those don't go together. you don't have to run from a man who's buying, like, (laughs) uh, unscripted donuts. Door-to-door donuts. Uh, They they weren't in uniform. You actually can't get lazier than that. Subscription-based donuts are the laziest thing I'm sitting in my house and donuts just show up. I just want to say yes to that. I just want to say yes to the dream. And and in fact, you put a future on apple they fritters. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> they should have slowly walked away, right in your face. When they ran off, I something in my mind said, "Fuck, you just got tricked. You just got scammed." But also oh, in my mind, yeah. like the next day, I was like, "Donuts, they're coming today." Yeah. Every time and your door rings, come. you're just like, "Oh, maybe today's the day." For about like, two weeks, I was like, "It could be donut donuts. day." Did they ask any questions? Like, did you have to check boxes? Like, yeah, I want like they bear had, claws. They, I prioritize they, the claws. They had a sheet. They had a sheet. They had, and it looked fine. It, it looked fine. But I said, "What is a fine looking sheet?" In <laughs> it, it uh, had, I know what he means. <laughs> it had boxes to check. It a had, drawn out donut. On a real top. pointy. One. A real pointy <laughs> donut. That's a fine looking sheet you got. Yeah, all right, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It says uh, right here, donuts. I never got my donuts. <laughs> they scam me. Fuck the, those kids. Yeah, what are they doing now? That's well, I mean, Stephen and William Vector. These were that t- kid? These were 10 Steve and 12-year-olds. <laughs> These were 12-year-olds, and this was like uh, 2007, so, yeah. you know, they're probably either in jail or just maybe they started a donut conglomerate. I don't know. You may be easily scammable. Were they I twins? would say you are very easily scammable. Well, when it comes to donuts, I am. I, I have a discerning yeah. eye for, for most things, but this would have been let's, let's, incredible. At some point in the next three weeks, let's scam Brandon. Yes. So he knows it's coming, but he won't. It has be to be in the next three no. weeks. It has to be in the next three weeks. Four weeks. Cutco Knives did it the right way. Yeah. 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 The, the, they would send their like 18 year olds to a house of like kids who they played youth sports with. Yep. So there was a connection. Yep. And then she came in. And you would buy ninety the, the, to mm-hmm. one hundred and twenty dollars worth of knives. Carolyn Doherty came and cut a penny. Doherty in fr- came into my house. Cut, cut a penny. But cut a penny in half with the scissors. <laughs> and my mom and, uh, was yeah. hooked. <laughs> yeah. We bought. We're filled to the brim I mean, with how else, how else are you going to cut your pennies? In? I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's usable forever. But like she cut our penny and then she's like, you guys can keep this. We're like, oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> our, it's penny. our penny. She said, give me your current sharpest knife and a piece of kiwi. And then she couldn't, couldn't get it. And then she showed us the cut coat, cut the penny in half. And we were, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Did you just have a kiwi? It was made. Yeah, we yeah, all we, did. We, everyone had kiwis in our town. But couldn't she have just like kind of like uh, when you're doing the vertical leap and you don't reach as hard so you can make it seem like you're jumping yeah, higher? Uh-huh. Couldn't she have thrown the kiwi? Couldn't she have like just OJ like, oh, I can't. No, she this. was. She was faux cutting the kiwi. She faux cut it. I had a rational fear of kiwis for a brief time as a child. Brown it, and fuzzy. Brown gross. and fuzzy. Disgusting. Well, the first time I had a kiwi, I was very little and it got in my eye. And I thought that happened every time you had kiwi. I had a real bad stretch of getting toothpaste in my eye. I had like two weeks straight every morning brushing my teeth, paste in the eye. Never me. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That makes no sense. Brushing too hard. Are you guys stupid? Eye? Yeah, but it comes yeah. out of your what? mouth and all it curves around I, to your I eye. I got toothpaste I in my eye so much. Slop. You're stupid, I think. I think I am stupid. <laughs> I think that that's a telltale style sign of being an idiot. Either that or you were brushing your eyeballs. I wasn't brushing my brushing fucking eyes, eyes man. He was brushing yeah, his eyeballs. Were. God damn Dirty. it. <laughs> you were cleaning those eyeballs. This is how malicious rumors start. That's this how you ended up true. with glasses. Well, you you had it. perfect vision. I had perfect vision, and so my mom got this new aqua fresh. Were you trying to look like your dad? You know, white stuff splashing in your eyes? Oh. That's low-hanging fruits, which he loves. <laughs> God damn! Uh, little pick and roll. Remember those magazines that would just have houses in them? You just would fucking crack a magazine, and it would oh. just be like pages and pages of yes. houses. They'd have them at a diner. There'd be just houses for sale. The MLS magazines. Mm-hmm. Is that was that is that what it is? Mm-hmm. MLS. Right. It's a listing service. Mm-hmm. Oh, a listing service. Mm-hmm. God damn, those were sweet. Those Sports were Illustrated sweet. for kids would f- scam us too. They would put, they would change the faces in the crowd stars to people who were regionally based so you're like oh look this kid from my high school 
or my town made faces in the crowd. How awesome! No, it was regional. It was regional. That is true. I feel like I knew someone scam? every week. But they, I don't know. There wasn't to get you to play scam. sports. Yeah, to try hard. Yeah. Yeah. We, we so thought to do your best. We thought our neighbor. That's just spotlighting. We guys thought our neighbor was a national star. Yeah. No, they just would send it in whatever metro area you were in. They put people from that area in it. Damn. You know who you, ran, you never made it. You know who ran the magazine game was Highlights. <laughs> highlights just in every dentist's mm-hmm. office and yeah. doctor's office. Highlights, yeah. Zoo Books. Zoo Books had a fucking tear. Mm-hmm. Highlights had... They, what were they doing in Highlights? Like a uh, fucking... Yeah, goofus hit, and hit, hidden words. Hidden pictures, yeah. Hidden pictures. Yeah, they were doing some Waldo stuff. Mm-hmm. You had to find the screwdriver or something like that. Mm-hmm. They were on that Waldo was, A screwdriver shit. was in every single one. It was always <laughs> tough. always a screwdriver. It's always easy to hide a screwdriver. Yeah, why? I Spy did the same shit. So they we need regional based products in your in their eye spot. Kiwis. Yeah. yeah. We had a bunch we of like heroin needles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mountain all heroin. Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew and it's yeah. Mountain Dew. So we gotta recreate a magazine. We yeah, should we should make a Yak magazine. Mm-hmm. I feel like news, the one. newsletter, newsletter, newsletter is or? way more achievable but, but than I think, magazine. I think we do a yearly magazine, so we could all have input. We can all put stuff in there, a mm-hmm. hidden picture. How about a pamphlet, like a, just a one-page magazine? Pamphlets, no. no. Pamphlets are dead. Pamphlets, there's a, like an inherent feeling of doom when you read mm-hmm. one. Really? Yeah. Yes. What about it, like no a hotel? Com- we don't no want good doom? comes from a pamphlet. The lobby yeah. of a hotel, and there's like all these pamphlets of where to go ziplining and are, shit? Every Wendy's, and they're the foyer of a Wendy's. Was that just ours? I don't know. Is that is that Wendy's had all the local like Wendy's don't have foyers or Wendy's had a foyer yeah, they my have, Wendy's uh, solarium <laughs> <laughs> your Wendy's had a foyer meet me in the pamphlet. Wendy's foyer I think my Wendy's had a foyer as well we should uh, make huh? one magazine and then scan it and sell the PDF yeah so it's a blog a fungible yeah a non-fungible right but everyone knows you have to pay the price of the one magazine but you only get a, a digital version mm-hmm. that's genius yeah that's genius. I think that's how we do it. I'd like you guys to come to my McDonald's one time. No thanks. Yeah, I, don't think I, I will. will. I'll go. No. I'll come. I'll you come. will. What's it's sell it? Sell us this McDonald's. It's a mansion. Sell it to us. Wait. It's you're a mansion. This, you're bread bowling us. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. What? It's a mansion. Okay. What's the McMansion? Is it a house? Yeah, it was like an old mansion. McDonald house. And it's a. Is there a play place in it? No. <laughs> but they had parties. There's an upstairs. And is it just the McDonald's menu, no, or there's not like this? No. Just sounds like a different restaurant. Right, Sell it to us. I don't want to. Well, you're the one that asked us to come. Yeah. Well, I wanted you to want to come. I want to come. I you said can tell I wanted me to why come. I should want to kind come. Kind of But let's get these other guys on board. Is this. Do they have McDonald's fries? Yes. That's good. McFlurry machine works. No okay. way. That's not a McDonald's. <laughs> um, fuck. There's an Applebee's near it. That's cool. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just when I'm out, he does that to me. <laughs> that <laughs> son of a bitch. He knew exactly what he was doing. Follow up uh, meal. Uh, where, I'm craving where a Big Mac oh. that smells kind of like an appetizer sampler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it have the, the McDonald's seating? You know, they, they have their own kind of the, their booths. They have their own yeah, feel. The, the but this is a mansion. Boots. Does this have like leather booths or something? Does your McDonald's Green have leather, the bubble yeah. tube in the middle? No. Oh, uh, ours bubble had like tubes. The, the, yeah. Four of them. The play place is always like bar. actual poop. Yes. Our play poop, place did have poop. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. it was the turd exchange program. Right. <laughs> Our, did yours have that? <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about this before. Yeah. You, had, you yeah. take Many the turd? If you found times. a turd in the yeah, play place, you, you could, could go turn it in for, for fried fry kids cookies. cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Until it was the one it in Elm Grove, down. the one in Moundsville, and the one in Fallensby. Maybe the one in Fallensby had it like as well. Fallensby got world. rid of it first, <laughs> but you could you real. could put it in any sort of like hamburger wrapper you brought to the person. They give you just a box. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, Carter Huffman Carter cheated Huffman. the system. He would he shit himself. Himself. He would uh-huh. shit. You guys are in very the in sync today. We, he would shit in the play place. And they got the pick and roll yeah. running. <laughs> and yeah, like they're running at optimum. No, we've talked about this. No, this is old. This is old shit. But you've talked about the McTrickler before. Yeah, we talked about the photo proof of the turd exchange program. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's in one of our videos with Donnie in the, when we went to Wheeling. But yeah, uh, send it to our, me. our boy we'll Carter Huffman uh, was was is banned from those three McDonald's now mm-hmm. because they they were like they actually he, ran he's the best blood. at finding they, these. They turds. tested his stool because they, they just cut it apart. They were losing so much money. Oh, him. he would just lay his own turds. He would lay yes. his own turds, but he got caught because what was his turds filled with when they dissected it? Cookies. It was all fried cookies. cookies. <laughs> yeah. You are what you eat. Fuck. Exactly. Is this your McMansion? Yes. Is it's it cool? actually pretty cool? Um, can we address that Brandon was live with a well, celebrity really. today? Yes, one of the what? most well-known p- 
people on Earth. Brandon does a pre-pick really Central Earth. gambling show. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't know that. Uh, somebody sent us a screenshot of br- who Brandon was live l- with. Top five famous uh, all-time. Can I guess? Ever. Let, okay, he is probably the top, one of the top three most famous Bin Ladens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's not two or three. Okay, I know. And you were is. talking gambling with him? With it's it's a hilarious visual. Brandon Walker is live on Twitter Spaces with Osama bin Laden. <laughs> no way. I, no. Okay. So yeah, obviously you go live and it says. No, nah, he had a two tower parlay for you. <laughs> Twitter Spaces <laughs> says says uh, you come join Brandon Walker. It's got my picture and then the first guest or the first person that signed up and, and joined happened to have Osama bin Laden. As his <laughs> <laughs> so just on the top of everybody's timeline was Brandon's live highlighted in just royal the purple. electric purple. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just branded with a It literally it. has two pictures and it says plus 200 others or something like that. <laughs> but it was really you and Osama. It was you and it's, Osama it's leading the show. It's me dunking basketball next to Osama in a very smiling Osama picture. Yeah, well, he's, he wearing, was in he's a wearing a Clemson, yeah. he's wearing a Clemson jersey. He was hanging out with you. So yeah. what did you guys talk about? Oh, we just talked betting, man. Gambling, you know. Osama's he had a, he had a gambling yeah. cave. It was literal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the? What is so? You do the Twitter spaces before Walk the Line, before Pick Central. No, I do. I, I do uh, before Pick Central, between Walk the Line and Pick Central. So I'm <laughs> speaking gambling for about two hours. But to all the same people? Uh, no, well, Twitter Spaces is good because you know Clubhouse is something that not a lot of people are on. Twitter Spaces is just Twitter, and it's them copying Clubhouse. So I just talked to four or five hundred people at once about gambling. They they can. It's like calling radio. So it's oh, you in, nice. you invented radio? I didn't invent it. Twitter did. So I'm just taking advantage of the platform. They're just they're just cucking Clubhouse. They're you, just taking Clubhouse and putting it on their platform good. and calling it Spaces. Do you think we need like an afternoon gambling show to ease ourselves off? Probably weaning us off. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. It seems like there's just a lot in the morning, and we're going to need something. It is. So yeah, I go from walk the line into into that into Pick Central into this. Um, so you, I do need an exit ramp. You should do. Uh, maybe we like drop a, a can out the window with a string, and anyone who walks by can just, <laughs> just talk, talk to Brandon it, no? about gambling. Okay. All That'd right. be nice. Fair enough. Yeah, hey, we need something to fill that two to four space. You meet have you ever? Have you tried just sucking your own dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, I have. It doesn't. Whatever. <laughs> That'd be easier than creating all these accounts, and passwords. <laughs> and, yeah. It would be funny if you just did a live show in the afternoon outside of Madison Square Garden. Yeah, it no, would be funny. I'd say outside the Port Authority with a cheerleader cone. Yeah, just standing on a box being like, I really like the Oakland A's no. plus 138. Oregon State, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, let's do a Brandon Walker live show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Raw and uncut. <laughs> whatever you guys want to do, I'm, it's all good. Yeah. You don't really have a say anymore. No, I don't. We own you. Yeah. <laughs> I like your shoes. Thank you. Those are good shoes. I like your shirt. Thank you. Nice. A little suck up move to the boss, but that's okay. I like Roan's hat. Let's go. I already nope. I already said, said that. that. I, already, I called it. dibs on it the first day he wore it. I like Nick socks. Woolen. Mm-hmm. I like KB's sweatshirt. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. KB's been looking so healthy. Mm-hmm. Cause are you still not drinking? Uh, no, I did over the weekend. Okay. Cutting down, exercising. What are you doing in the, in the gym? I saw you for about five minutes this weekend. You were black the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> easier. And it, it's all worth it. What do you mean easier? I love a good easy blackout. You, KB has a tell when he's very drunk. He can't keep his hands off of his hands. So I, he'll just be like this the entire time. Mm, <laughs> scheming. He's with himself. Always. Yeah. Just rubbing every inch of his hands. The webbing. Nah. The inside. The outside. <laughs> just yeah. feeling every inch. Uh, Brandon and Rowan, were you guys invited to Owen's big party? Absolutely not. Say what? What? Absolutely not. Owen had a big party that we weren't invited to. Oh, it's already happened. I think I'm getting it invited on to Friday. Shit. Oh, it wasn't yeah. fun. Sounded like it was great. How many people were Went there? Went till 4 a.m. How many people were there? Two, three, four dozen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not bad. So uh, who was there for? There were 48 people at your party. All right, yeah, I'll let you guess. Who who do you think the last four people at my apartment were? It was around 4:13 in the morning. There were four people bite. left. Hmm. Sass. Other than people who live there. Bailey Carlin. No. Okay. Two are no brainers. You told me, in and I forgot. K- K- KB, and, KB and Nick. No. No. Nate. No, this was at four. Mincy, thirty plus a.m. Brother, so I don't stay out past ten. Oh, how? I remember one. Playboy Marty. Yes. Playboy Marty, of course. 
Dave. You're asking the worst person. He doesn't yeah, know yeah. anyone's name. He doesn't name. know anybody. I know outside, names. Outside. I don't know the who blonde goes. boy. I don't yeah, know the other on. blonde boy. Uh, one of them is very good at statistics. Evan. He's her her last name is even statistics. Katie Stats. Yeah. So Katie and Playboy Marty are dating. Playboy what? Stats. Mm. You can't say that. You just can't start rumors like that. Throw another rumor out there so we can yeah, <laughs> bury that yeah, rumor. Can't do that. Uh, Big Cat seen a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Wait, weren't no, we gonna have like a movie a... show today? Yeah, but Big Cat came back. Oh, yeah, I heard about that, and I've got on the next flight back. He did. <laughs> the minute I caught not on wind. my watch. The minute I caught. And you mean wind. literal watch, not like watching a movie. Right. You don't know what that's like. Don't <laughs> never done it. I don't think not do on my someday. watch refers to a movie. Yeah, it refers to watching with the eyes. First watch, second watch. Yeah. It's actually I think I think it's probably about one year since we started watching movies live on this show. Yo. That was so fucking That's sick. Like garbage the cat. That shit Which was is crazy. Can we do that again? Can we just watch Rudy or something? People didn't really like it. But then I also was like, fuck everyone. The whole world was locked down. Two hours Everything of radio do. every day about nothing. We would just we just watch Cuomo's press conference. That was the we watched Jerry Springer for a week. <laughs> Did you see the floods in Nashville yesterday? A hundred people left homeless, and they're just clamoring for sixty Bud Lights. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. if there's only anybody that could. Yeah. Ben Shapiro's like, "Where's the Bud Light man?" That's Where's I thought that was part of the reason I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> that whenever we have something bad happen, fucking, the Bud Light man shows up. Fucking Dana, Dana, Dana. He he ringed out a year of the Bud Light of the beer, and he switched to Miller Light. Now he's got another. Another six months of this. Well, I, I would assume that was an ad, right? Oh, I think he's. Uh, I think, but he's gonna. He's gonna ring out six months. Yeah, and of then this. he'll do another. One. Isn't that good? Yeah. That's good for us as a company. No, right? it, it fucking worked. Like people, like went very much worked. crazy yeah. for. Yeah, I, his like his fan base is astounding. I, I poke fun, but I see him come out with those Miller Light shirts. I'm like, yeah, there's my salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah, thank you, Dana. But up to our centerpiece, I like that American flag just what? sitting arbitrarily well, in the middle of our show. Brandon, Brandon's guest this morning kind of ruined all the patriotism yeah. on this show. Yeah, <laughs> that was this one one feedback. Well, that was a standalone Any feedback show. On my programs? <laughs> yeah, one. Get rid of that flag. <laughs> <laughs> Replace it with a black one. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I also like that the it's Barstool Sports established. To, it seems like it's America's established 2003. Yeah, who made that? I like that. What about the font, though? That typewriter font? Mm hmm. That's Courier. what our, our magazine's going to look like. Courier. It's going to be in Courier? Yeah. Hmm. Um, That's Courier? Hmm. Courier new. Hmm. You're a font. That's you're a newspaper font, boy. font. Fonts. What was Che on about yesterday? Times New Roman? He was on it. He was on his shit. He, he seemed like he. I, I can always tell when Che has, has had a day. Because he's, he's talking tweeting that about. He's tweeting about bold claims like. Ch uh, ice cream pie is better than ice cream cake. I didn't even know there yeah. was a difference. I did not know he was 35. He looks great. He looks great. Yeah. Oh wow. He was he was on his Asian shit yesterday. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. No, he was. He was, yeah. he was unintentionally, like not willingly. He, well, we, he just had to sit up. We were talking about white boy uh, summer. Oh yeah. 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 He said he could have participate. Already, no, white already canceled. No. Already canceled. No, wait. Chet Hanks, his, his merch looks racist, is what they said. <laughs> well, Hanks. what does it say? White boy summer. But it's Which the, I font. Get, the, the font. font. Yeah. Like, the you font. Don't, if you're not a, like, hip to the internet, I can see that being a bad look. Wait, yes. someone <laughs> actually DM'd him, though, and was like, hey, I'm Asian. Can I be in white boy summer? And he's like, yes. So, yeah, I think Stephen Che is 100% in. Hmm. If he wants to be, but he, he was also he was wearing plaid yesterday, so yeah, that's why it was cock uh, plaid. Yeah, excluding Jesus him, Christ. so at least he didn't know. No, and also he does. Stephen Shade does call every female in this office a smoke show. Yeah, he does. yeah. So, he, does. Yeah. he whistles Definitely at up. women yeah. like a construction worker. He just sees Dude. this office as buddies and smoke shows. <laughs> yeah. One or the other. Uh, dude, I don't say that. Hmm. Yeah, I like Chad Hanks is an inspiration for all of us. He's just a cool guy. I saw he did a cameo, and uh, it was like. Your friend Alexis said you're a black queen. He bowed. He bowed? That was me bowing. Was yeah. bow black queen? <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's an inspiration. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Does Tom Hanks even, like, follow him, you think? What is that? What is, yeah, what is someone as high up as Tom Hanks? What does he even consume? Right. Especially of his own son that is <laughs> Chet Hanks. He's... 
books you like him and rita they, they yeah. just lay down for bed and like let's check up on chester yeah they're like hey uh, this white boy summer thing he's got seems like it's got legs he's finally yeah. found his niche hey, I'm, yeah i'm proud of you son yeah. <laughs> you're very you're proud what did people listen to uh i guess nothing in the city before there were headphones like how did you just walk around the city or hop on the subway just in in the deafening silence of how loud it is like what is that they're probably consuming just the same shit that they always consumed and that's just like nothing mm-hmm. just like when going to like, bed and like uh, thinking whatever the walkman walkmans come out what year 80s 80s yeah 80s. but then probably everyone didn't have them until 90s the nano the shuffle <laughs> It was mm-hmm. the shuffle. The that shuffle. Re- that I think a shit ton of people had Walkmans, though. Really? Mm-hmm. Like on the subway in 1989, were there like was everyone uh, probably wearing... a lot of Walkmans? You think so? Yeah, well, it's a pretty good amount. Because like everyone has like, regardless of class, they have AirPods or iPods. But do you think that there was ever a threshold of Walkman being too expensive? Like, weren't the first VCRs like four thousand dollars in today's money they had, or something they like have that? Radios. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that's, on the shoulder. Yeah, that's right. But everybody Rahim. had them, so it was just Boxes. madness outside. <laughs> just a bunch of Rahims at once. Did you also go, do you guys see that uh, company wide email that Donnie's boombox got stolen? Yeah, it was from Jen Simon. Just the the title was "Where's Donnie's boombox?" Subject line. Like, <laughs> he oh, definitely no. misplaced it somewhere. Yeah, oh, yeah, was it. Did, the guy, did you guys know where the boombox was? Stephen Che's desk. Oh. Hmm. Well, mm. why uh, why does Donnie have a briefcase boombox, and why is he always misplacing it? And it says hippo mode, but hippo is misspelled in the most egregious way. Hippo Th- mode. Three P's. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> a hippo mode. Yeah. They roll their P's. Is there a language that does, like, more than two? I think that sometimes is needed. Three? Three letters in a row to really show, like, how it's pronounced. There's some Southerners. I mean, I guess I, got, I just have to ask Roan uh, if the... If the boombox is missing and it went from his desk, is this a Roan production or is this a prank? Is this? I've actually retired from pranking, and because because the the claims and accusations get so fucking out of control. As we're sitting down for the show, little Sass messaged me and said, "Is this?" was this your work and it's just toilet paper ripped up like he thinks that i just went into the bathroom <laughs> yeah. and like tore up the toilet paper so no one could wipe their ass after they shit mm-hmm. you it, scribbled on printer paper so i would believe yeah, that. That was, yeah. don't yeah. you think you Sociopathic. earned you earned this the scribbling on pr- printer paper since it's been brought up multiple times i will confirm as one of the false ones that kb but, just yeah, no, oh, i was with you that kb made i was up. with you but then what happened there yeah, when would we ever be by the printer together i remember when, when we, we were because i was the printer i remember this was probably over the summer just Maybe scribbling last, on it f- yeah last summer ruining all the when blank we, paper so we were both by the printer together yeah. i <laughs> yes. walked with you to the printer no. I remember it vividly. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even make sense. Why would we be over there? Plucked Franklin's buttocks. What? Mm. See, this is all, we're back <laughs> in the made up. Morelli, you plucked his buttocks. Oh, uh-huh. you did pin him. I did not. You pinned him. Mm-hmm. He never sat on the pins. But pin- you did try. Uh, attempted pinned, pinning. That's pinned his butt. Yeah. I was. I, someone had made a voodoo doll of me. Do you think that what's what's worse, pinning someone or getting voodoo done I mean, on that your just body? Happens. They made one of me. Yeah, 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 we did. And you didn't do anything back to it. It showed that you're not going to do anything when someone voodoo's we you. We gave him possession of the doll. I He's have safe. The doll. Yeah. Yeah. One I, one is inconsequential. One makes your rear end bleed. Pinning. Yes. He never was pinned. It was just a threat of pinning that if anyone tries voodoo on me again, I'm going to pin him. But you got lucky he didn't pin himself. What about the chocolate football? Mm. That was for that, that was, was just for Frank. No, but Nick. the second chocolate football, you tried to hide in my luggage before I went to Michigan. What? And I acted like he got away with it. I called him when I landed in Michigan. And I said, you motherfucker. And you admitted to it. And then I said, look under your desk. <laughs> That's where it was. So I was being framed for it. Mm-hmm. No, I just so you framed I reverse me. framed exactly. you. You framed me exactly. That where you've gotten to the point where I'm the one who's being framed for all of these things. The reverse framing. People reverse are going frame. into An the E-marf. bathroom, <laughs> ripping up. They're e-marfing me with the toilet e-marf. paper. No, <laughs> you're not being e-marfed. That is an e-marf. <laughs> yeah, I am. Let's e. I want to e-marf somebody. You always are e-marfing me with the I fucking know. scribble scrabbling yeah. on on the printer paper. I would never I scribble scrabble on printer. I'm I just gonna start blaming Roan for everything. I want like, right to screenshot the natural floods. Be like, Ron, was this you? Yeah, <laughs> bro, sick prank. Why do you keep going back to the natural floods? Yeah, what's, on, what's on your mind? Topical. <laughs> what about the Nashville explosion? No one said anything about that. Huh. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> Didn't happen until months later. New Year's Day. Was it New Year's Day? Uh, no, it was Christmas Day. Christmas Wasn't? Day. I think it was Christmas Day. Uh, 
You know, Roan's trying to become a phone call guy, just calling to check in. I tried to reverse it on him. I called to check in on Roan. Didn't fucking pick up. And that's what he does now. I, I was, right, before, I was about yeah. to sign a lease, and no I, point. he was going to be my emergency contact. So were you Ooh. checking in, or were you making me your emergency contact? I was going that's to see why if, I, I was it out. checking it wasn't in, a check in to see no, if you were responsible like... enough to be my emergency contact. And now it's Big Cat. It was a test? I, I will not. You too late. You already are. <laughs> Fuck. I was you like, didn't... who's the oldest guy I know? <laughs> that's right. It was Big Cat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually. No, nah, you're my emergency Brandon, contact, yeah. little bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. That's dick. That's dick. So That's now dick. whenever you go to the hospital, That's he has to go dick. and fucking identify your bitch-ass corpse? No, I think they're just going to call him pester him for rent. <laughs> I'll pull the plug. That's what I mean. <laughs> I will pull the plug. Wait, I might actually sign my life over to you. I will do it. I know you will. I will pull the plug. It, sprained ankle. I want just kill him. <laughs> I want he's you, lame. You know, Shoot him. You know, I don't you want him walking line. around with an ankle. Do him like a horse. You do know, him like you a race horse. Like the, uh, the Joe Buck, like big forehead thing. Yeah. I want you to do that with my EKG. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at this. It's actually you flat. It's actually him. flat, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> he's very alive. <laughs> you get diagnosed with like celiacs. He's like gluten free. is no way to lift. Yeah, just pull pulls it. Kill him. Pull the plug. So wait, did you get your new apartment? <clears throat> yeah. Wait, so you, you moved into your apartment while Frank the Tank was looking for an apartment and you didn't wow. even offer him? Wow. He's sure, been tweeting I'm that sure he needs one. sure there was an offer. Wow. No, you didn't even offer him. Surely you offered. It was offered. too late. It was too late. What do you mean? Too late? He's he's been talking about it for months. Mm-hmm. I, uh, but he didn't want to move to the city, right? He, he wanted to stay to in Jersey. No, no, he, he said he would move anywhere. He said anything to get out of yeah. the hellscape that he's living in. He said, as long as I get to move in with Nick, I'll move to fucking Mars. Uh, where is he? I gotta ask him about John Corelli's bakery. <laughs> you wanna go grab him? <laughs> no, I, think it, I think it's the best bread in New Jersey. Do it on your own time. Nah, I'll, I'll ask him after this. Yeah, do it on your own. Grab time. him. Yeah. <laughs> no, because we have a lot more talking points to hit. Yeah. Wait till after the show. We gotta pack. Talk show. in private. Uh, sweet, sweet. When did you move? Did you already move? Yes, uh, uh, Friday. Wow. Yeah. What are you gonna decorate your walls with? Uh mm. I have some things. Are you all set up? What do you mean? No, no. I I moved from like, I was living in a closet, uh, literally, not metaphorically. um, And I don't have anything. So you you moved all your stuff? Yes, very quickly. And you're all set up? It's all still in the boxes. What size bed do you have? I've been sleeping on the floor because I just threw my mattress away. I don't have any, (laughs) I don't have a bed yet. What? I don't have a bed yet. So you've been sleeping on a rug? Yeah. A rug and a blanket. Yeah. Hmm. How's that going? It's fine. I don't need much. (laughs) <laughs> that's crazy hmm. That's nah, not really Yeah it is Just sleeping on the floor For four days now? Yes wow. Why is he running like that? It keeps you I'm going ordering. I'm going to order a mattress today on Amazon I'm thinking of Queen It keeps you humble It keeps you hungry So where would that go? You're not going to uh, I'll just be on the floor? No I'll, have, I'll get a frame too I had a very fun trip I'll just I'll be Buying things I'm staggering I'm Buying need need first Got it What was the first need? Coat rack uh, Yeah <laughs> Always. Yeah, I got a coat. What are you going to put today? your coat on the floor? It's bamboo. Yeah. Exactly. That's where I sleep. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Where am I going to sleep? There's coat All these everywhere. coats in the fucking way. <laughs> so much coat on the floor. Why was it, Why were you running back like that? Like a child, like a, honestly, like Forrest Gump before he got the, just, the braces off. I was able to pull a mini prank while I was gone. Frank and uh, Lil Sass sitting next to each other. And as I was walking to get Frank, I walked right towards Lil Sass. And I always come get him. And I, I pointed at him. And I said, hey. Frank, would you like to come? And Lil Sass had stood up and was coming to the Oh, gap. that's awesome. What a stupid yeah, little a bitch one. he is. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Frank. Go get Sass. Yeah. The, the, the only seat left is mine. No, but go get him, and then we're going to be like, what was your face like? <laughs> and then that'll be great. All right. All right. Frank awesome. does like to bully Sass. That's yeah. his, yeah, his new he pet does. project is to keeping what Sass in Chad. Great. Chad. Well, he looks, great. he looks and we even are, walks like the, yeah, that, uh, sh- that new TBS show, Chad, which, by the yeah. way, the first show aired, you watch. it is awful. We're just going to give Sass Brandon's seat, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. cool. Brandon leaves like about halfway through every Yeah, this is a reverse anyway. prank. Yeah, this is kind of where it's Brandon's going to go. It's an e-morph. Uh, uh, Frank? Good to see you. Uh, KB had a question for you. Uh, it was more of a statement. Um, there's a place in Jersey that I swear by, but my grandma from Persephone said she got a bad loaf, which I don't believe, a bad loaf from John Corelli's Bakery. I have actually never been to John Corelli's Bakery. Oh. I was hoping you did. <laughs> I usually go to uh, uh, either Calandra's in Newark 
mm. uh, Plaza in Belleville or, uh, well, Be- Nutley, actually. And, hey, uh, Sass, why don't you sit down? And uh, Jen Corelli's in uh, Bloomfield. Wait, what? Oh, Jen looks Corelli's. like Brandon doesn't have a seat. <laughs> Jen Corelli's? Jen Corelli's. No, Corelli's. you sit there. It was Where's mean Brandon what Brandon did, did to you. <laughs> so now what we're getting I him say? back. Oh, you told me. Oh, I didn't know We got him back. Things. Now you took his seat. <laughs> well, wait, wait Sass, say that into the mic. They said these chairs have wheels. Yeah, they do, brother. Yeah, oh, they do. Welcome back. Fuck yeah. Brandon is now sitting in the corner. <laughs> Teach Brandon him to not be me to the king of New York. In front of the whole office. That's what, and look what we're doing now. Embarrassing him in front of all of YouTube. He did, yeah. Isn't that great? He actually did. Isn't this great? What did he do? Yeah. T- tell us what he did to you, in your words. He walked up to me. We made eye contact. Did you just comb your mustache? Me, and then he said, Frank. Oh. Yeah. Fucking great. That was a good, it's a decent prank. All right. And it, Frank, do you think Frank, it's backfired? Frank, how did it make Say you feel? Say that into the mic. What what style are you sitting in? Yeah, what is that? Indian or American oh. History X? Mm. <laughs> I'm not even sitting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you he are. He doesn't have the flexibility. I don't have them down. The, yeah. That's not, you don't, they don't have to be down. I think, well, that's, just, I think they call that a squant. Oh. Uh, it's a reverse Indian. Yeah, you're right. These do have wheels. <laughs> they do have wheels. Oh my God. Well, what's strange is the like the uh, the uh, regular seats have uh, wheels, and the seats that you think would have wheels don't have wheels. Yep. Exactly. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like reverse. You're stealing Sass's bit. <laughs> it's no, not a Sass. Bit. It wasn't no, a bit. It's a bit. Sass, it's, a bit. Not a bit. it's one of Sass his had to number get that one point bits. across. We were, <laughs> well, yeah. you see, I when I sat down, I like moved forward, and all of a sudden, the whole the whole thing was rotating, and I was confused. I was like, why, wheels. Does this, "Why do these have wheels?" wheels. We were we were like very deep in discussion about the Israel Palestine crisis, and you were just like, "These don't have fucking wheels." Yeah. <laughs> Chair <laughs> wheels <laughs> keep on spinning. Yep. Chair yep. keeps on rotating, falling, 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 falling off the, the seat seat now. now. That's good. Did you just come up with that? Yes. Fuck. Hey. Wait, what was that a song or reference to? I lost that. Rolling on the River. It's Creed is Clearwater. Cover. Did you see Backdoor Cover when you were gone? No. It was electric. Did Let you me sing hear Backdoor, backdoor cover. cover for me? Right, hold, on. hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> Let him find it. CJ. Houston has won the game's over, <laughs> but they don't have a big enough lead. I think this... Covers in trouble. <laughs> yeah. With five seconds left. <laughs> with five seconds left, Oregon State, he's up three. The score is only a seven point difference. If you had eight, that really sucks. Oh. But if you took Oregon State, you're feeling great today. It's a backdoor cover. Do, 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 do. A backdoor cover. Wow. That's good. To the stylings of part time lover, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. Um Frank, how many people in the eighties had uh in nineties had uh Walkmans? Like uh seventy percent, I would say. Okay, so there you go. A lot. Damn. So were they walking around the city with them on? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Especially uh Especially the ones that they would like attach to their belt mm-hmm. and they go jogging with them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We were discussing that earlier. So there we go. There's the answer. And what did people do on the train before they all had Walkmen? Did they just sit in silence? Did they read the newspaper? Read the newspaper. Oh. Mm. Is there a way that you're supposed to fold the newspaper when you're reading it on the train? Can you just splay it wide open, or do you, are you splay it to? wide open? Really? Damn. That's people, uh, but uh, but again, that's why. Uh, well, you had the New York Times. That's why you have like the. Uh, the, 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 the tabloids, the hoardy toddy, would pe- read the New York Times. The real people always read the uh, tabloids because then you don't have to splay it out. You just have the one paper and you just read it cover to cover. Mm. Mm. Bet you didn't know that, Sass. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. history lesson that for that. Yeah. Yeah. No Modern fucking... hooligans will listen to their music aloud for yeah. no reason. What did they do back then? Did they read the paper aloud? Do the crosswords they out loud? The page. I've actually been reading out loud, and it's much easier to follow along. Well, you had people like uh, ra- you had uh, people like uh, <laughs> you had people like Radio Rahim. Yep. Who came in with the big boom box playing very loudly, and he didn't. Give a fuck. He just played it very loud. <laughs> yeah. There was, yeah, I knew. Yeah, fuck. I hate people that listen to music super loud in their cars. It irks me. In their really? Cars. Yeah. Uh, 
You know people whose who's, who's radio goes to like an excruciating the level of loudness? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, like not even yeah. the boom, subwoofer. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 That's boom. subwoofer. You don't hear anything. Oh, you don't hear anything. That's subwoofer. <laughs> you don't hear any music. Nah, I was just joking. All you hear it's is not subwoofer. All you hear is that's doom, subwoofer. Doom, doom, that's doom, subwoofer. Doom, doom, doom. Mm. That's a subwoofer. I think, that's why, I think it's actually caused a lot of brain damage. That's why we have a lot of stupid people today. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Music. Whenever like I'm in the car and they're doing that, it makes me have to poop. It's like an audio yeah. laxative. It shakes yeah. it out of me. It's a yeah. brown noise. It's much like it a, brown a brown noise. noise. Mm. Does brown noise make you shit? Yeah. It's a frequency so low that you shit yourself. Yeah, the uh... Really? Yeah. The, yeah. It's, a, it's an actual <laughs> CIA weapon. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> it's that an was as fuck. Thanks. It's an actual CIA weapon that we like use like uh... Like uh... Te like hostage negotiations, terrorist negotiations. <laughs> we used it uh... like like uh... In Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, where that's what they did to Bin Laden. Yeah. He should. Yo, yeah. If you don't tell us where these hostages are, you you are going to poop your pants. Brandon's yeah. best friend. Anything, please. Please, no, no, yeah. no, no, please. <laughs> I'll tell you any secret you want to know. And Brandon, you want to say something? Other way, dickhead. Oh, oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ! I've been doing. I've been pushing it back this every single time when I'm. All right. <laughs> I like this. Brandon looking like a Roman emperor trying to get some, fed some grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Vomitorium. <laughs> he had nothing to say. By the time you got the mic, you f yeah, you got derailed. You got uh, Amtrak. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, that's, that's his good. bread and butter. Get Amtrak. That's Amtracked. fucking that good. Is, Train that's jokes. Be a new thing. Get yeah. Amtrak, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go Amtrak yourself? Sass, do you want to, uh, should we clear the air between us? Your, di your dirty accusations that you were making? Were you just stroking your mustache? I was drying it off. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it it's wet? Beautiful. You just had a sip of water. Oh, Flavor okay. saver. Yeah. Now, is it true the reason you're growing the mustache is so people don't, uh, to make <laughs> the mistake of you and Chad? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, that and also fuck. you like the flavor of pussy on your lips. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yesterday's that. pussy. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yesterday's pussy. No, I wash half, the mustache Half price. Mm -hmm. I wash it thoroughly every night. Wash you the do? pussy out. <laughs> yeah. What's your routine? Soap. Nice. Hell yeah. And <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you wash that shit with pussy. I knew you did. Uh, uh, I, I need to clean out the pussy scent with more yeah. pussy. Yeah. Do they cancel out or does it just become stronger? Stronger. Mm, but nice. eventually you become numb to it. And all Nose you're blind. smelling is puss <laughs> yeah. constantly. How soon after the Edmund Fitzgerald song did uh, the Summertime Dream song come out? Right after, I think. <laughs> I think it was the same like week, pretty well, much. Well, I don't know about that, but you know, I was actually born. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, you were? Three days after the Edmund Fitzgerald yes, song. Yes, I, I knew there was a correlation. <laughs> there, so it was the same week. So Summertime Dream same, came out same that same exactly. week, right? No, this is after the, the sinking, right? Yeah, the same week that it sunk. Well, then... How many people died on that wreck? 29, I believe. God damn. 29 souls. Gone. Gone forever. Do you think that you have... You are one of those souls? Because you were born right after. Yeah. Well, you never know. Yeah. Right. It could be. Reincarnation? You a reincarnation guy, Let's Frank? get the names of these people. Let's mm -hmm. see who you might have oh, been. I might, yeah, when does something we should look up when mass. people... What is the cutoff number for it to become a mass? I think three. Mass killing. Uh, Mm. I think it's like a few versus a couple. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine qualifies. Oh, well, yeah, it, would the, uh, the Edmund Fitz show was uh, I would say like loaded with ore fully, and it was heading to Cleveland. Twenty nine people. Right. I would say over five. I would consider it, it was mass. mass. So four, not mass. But what would you call a mass murderer? Four people. Like four. Three, right? Yeah, I think it's three. It's like a it's like a couple. Yeah. So if someone killed three people, well, you'd call them a mass murderer. mass murderer. Yeah. Kind of a low threshold, honestly. Makes you want to mass murder. It does. It's like, wow, Definitely. it's that easy? <laughs> well, why? I don't know. I feel like it would have to be a... Like, if you killed three people in your lifetime, I don't think I would call a person a mass murderer. Oh, you have to kill them all at once. You gatekeeping the mass murderer yeah, tag? gatekeeping it. Uh, I mean, how many people does it have to be for a serial? Two. Serial just means unrelated. No, serial means the same style of killing, right? I you killed them the no, same way? There's no, no particular so. motive. I think serial is just... The yeah. Kill by the same I think Owen's right. There's no motive in a serial killer. They just want it's to kill. Oh. No, that's not true. No, there can be there a motive. There can be a motive. Killing. <laughs> Usually it's because yeah, it's they want It's a series. Because they love to kill. It's that's a series. The that's the but I thought it was like the same way. 
I, don't, I think it's just a series of anything. Like, I think the, it's just the word series. Yeah, it's, 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 it's serial serialized. killer. A person who commits a series of murder, often with no motive. So series we were all right, but too. me. Uh, I'd say the mo the no motive thing is dumb. It's more just like their motive isn't like a political motive. Yep. No, you're always right, and we all accept that. <laughs> well, I think that's definitely Damn, that sounded real personal. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. No, when you're wrong, Google's wrong. Uh, well, how would there suck be my no dick. motive to killing someone? Of you're course. a crazy yes. person. Yeah. Yeah. But that's your motive, that you're crazy. I'm, I'm with they ass on want to kill someone. There's always a motive. You don't. Uh, otherwise, it's a manslaughter. You're right. The thought is that there's no motive for that specific they person. Didn't they just want person. to kill a human. Just didn't have any motivation. Yeah. Like, all I right, just killed him willy-nilly. I got it. So stop me when you hear who you think you are, Frank. Frederick John Beecher, Thomas H. Benson, Edward Franson, Francis Binden. You know, that might be one. That's, that's that you. That could be you. <laughs> that's you. Chippewa <laughs> County, Michigan. Thomas Dale Borgeson. That sounds kind of like you. Binden is closer. Nolan Franklin Church. Summertime dream. That's not summertime dream. That's the uh, the singing of the other chair with how the song oh, begins. Sorry. sorry. A lake they call Ichigumi. It's red, the sun, it is never born. And then when the weather turns to me. David uh, Elliott Cowboy yeah, Weiss. Fitzgerald. Yeah, he's got a picture of his dog, him and his dog. It's kind of cool. Frank, how's the moving going? Would you ever oh, live in yeah, Manhattan? That's why we brought you in. No way. Uh, well, I did. did yeah, I, I, I don't want to live in Manhattan. First okay. off, I'd, I'd be in a place that's even smaller than the fucking place I'm living now. Yeah. And uh, I spent this entire weekend packing up things and moving things into self storage, which was fucking just killing my fucking back and my fucking knee. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, I got some things in self storage, so I got a little more space. But I'm g I'm getting a new bed. Uh, you know what? Uh, last week I was actually sleeping, and I woke up with scratches on my leg, and I noticed that another spring was popping out of my mattress. Oh, jeez, not good. You got uh, yourself a Tempur Pedic. In fact, I brought a Tempur Pedic. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nice. Sleeping on a cloud, brother. So it's going to arrive on Friday. So that's one reason why I started moving things around because my room was just lo just co just covered like uh, the, where I couldn't even move around in my room anymore. I, I could walk to my bed and I could get in my bed and bed's that's about it. So I, I cleared a lot of space in my room. Uh, so uh, putting things in self storage that helps. But uh, now they're ripping apart my roof to put new roof on, and they wake me up at seven o'clock in the fucking morning. After I was watching NCAA tournament to one o'clock in the fucking morning, yes, yes, we had to. He, yeah, California wants to watch the whole game. They don't want to be at work and miss the game. California's more important than you, New York. Fuck you, New York. They're, you're gonna have to stay up really late. I like this rant. Yep. Because Keep going. people in California, they 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 they, 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 they they don't get home until late, and 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 they, they might miss the, the tip off of the mm -hmm. game. They might You're miss the first them. five minutes. Yep. I I well, pray for California. Just saying the same thing. <laughs> pray for California, Frank. They don't even care about sports. They're on their fucking surfboards well, and doing yes. white boy summer. Ex well, exactly. I mean, in, in California. If if they took away sports, they wouldn't care. Yeah. They, they would not fucking care. California doesn't like sports. All they care about is their fucking weed. And yep. Mm -hmm. and that's it. it that's it. Uh, and in and out. Uh, and then yeah. you, you, you got Oregon and Washington. I mean, they have yeah. so much rain. They, they, they totally can't. Or don't throw, don't throw Idaho under the bus here. Well, Idaho is mo mountain time. Still. Uh, oh, God. Kind of got you there. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, you kind of got got. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to hit home with yeah. him. Yeah. Lenning, 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 you're going to go. KB Lenning's, was weaving it in. He's letting folks Idaho, live in Idaho. He's a, yeah, he you kind of got man. got there because that's did. not the right and, time and, and, zone. And, 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 what, what, what are we going to do? Are we going to start worrying about people from fucking Hawaii? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, yeah. We're going to be watching games at 3 a.m. Yeah. All right, Mr. Time Zone. You got your title back. I mean, come on. Good job. Good save. Is the entire yeah. state in mountain? You know it is. <laughs> you know it is. Um, maybe the, the northern part like, is partially in, uh, in the uh, Pacific time zone, but I know the uh, eastern Idaho, which is yeah. uh, where my uh, parents no, live, you're right. is in uh, mountain time. What state were you born in? Montana. Oh, shit. A Montana man. Are there any states that shock you what uh, time zone they're in? I mean, every time... 
Yeah, I mean, Montana. Michigan, it doesn't shock me, but it, it is crazy that Michigan, Michigan and Ohio Eastern. being in the East Alabama's is, Central. Well, who's uh, Houston's coach? Michigan's Eastern time? Yeah. What? It's really weird. I know. Sam, uh, here's, the, here's the thing. That people everything. think Michigan... He coached like, at Montana think, Tech for a few what years. What is it? Atlanta? Right? Atlanta is farther west than Michigan? Than Detroit. No. Yeah, than Detroit? Is no. that right? No. no. Yeah. That is a crazy mm-hmm. fact. I think Missis- Mississippi is uh, <laughs> Eastern time, fact. isn't it? Yeah. I think it well, Tallahassee. Right? Tallahassee and uh, the Florida Panhandles in the Central Time Zone. Well, some of it is. If uh, Alabama is in the Central Time Zone, you think Mississippi is in the Eastern Time Zone? Well, isn't uh, all I know is my friend went to Ole Miss and he was in. I think he was in Eastern. First of all, how the fuck yes, did I just find fact. that? Found out about that. That is uh, fact, by the way. He went to That's, Ole Miss we for do one bet. quarter. Wait, what? What did he say? He went to Ole Miss for one semester. Yeah, well, he's Who a douchebag. <laughs> Mississippi's west of Alabama. They're both in the central time zone. and the Detroit is east of Atlanta. Correct. And the yes. time zone comes through Tallahassee right there. The, the last three hours of the panhandle are in the central. Nick, why did you just text me, wrap it up? And, uh... <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Damn it, I didn't. <laughs> Sass, you, you, are Sass. you boring you? No, I Jesus. just, I don't... I, that was a sexual thing. Sass. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ever watch a Tigers game on TV? You have STDs. <laughs> You're riddled with them. You ever watch a Detroit Tigers you have, you have game? You have AIDS. Pull the plug. No, I have. Yes. Pull the plug. <laughs> you have never... Dude... You've never watched the Tigers game? No, I'm not a Tigers fan. A Detroit, Fuck. A Detroit Tigers okay. game in Detroit played on around the summer solstice. This, did, they're playing game at night, 9.30, and it's still you can still see the sun. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's true, because it's Eastern time zone. I like that. Mm. Um, what else about solstices? Solstices. Solstice. Can, can be anything on solstices? It, well, we just solstice. passed the vernal equinox. We did? <laughs> nah, <but> yeah. <laughs> We're talking solstices, not equinoxes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, <laughs> Stay on what, task. What the fuck, Fleming? How'd you know that? Yeah. <laughs> when is that? Well, the vernal equinox was, uh, what was it, March 20th. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's my buddy Amon's birthday as well. Shout out Amon. Amon. How do you spell it? E-A-M-O-N? Correct. Like Damn. the singer. Right. Yeah. Scott Penis has been—he's been, hey, been kind of losing Penis? his patience with us. Yeah. He's What's been he doing? DM in the Yak account. He wants to come on. Okay. Well, we don't have the. We don't. We cannot take callers. Spotify anymore. Spotify will hopefully fix this problem. Penis, um, he says he has ideas. He has pitches. He has concepts. Uh, yeah, I want them all. Yep. Have him. But have him. Uh, just write pitch us. Nick. Yeah. I just don't write us a magazine. Yes, yeah, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, last comment before we end the show because Nick has to go. I didn't know Sass was taking my chair the whole show. I just thought he was going to sit in, answer a couple questions, and leave. He, he just took my chair. Yeah, he's I, the king of New York. The Brandon said, "Sit in my chair when I go in." I think it'll be funny. And yeah, then, but I didn't. I didn't mean the whole show. I'm, I'm, my back. <laughs> well, is we're hurting. ending it. We're ending the show. I was here for like five. It's the end of the show. I thought only Nick wanted to go. Well, Nick, Nick has something important to do. And Nick is kind of the. We go as Nick goes. Yeah, he's the ringleader of this crew. He's kind of the ringleader in, in kind of all ways. Us. He's the one that takes out the papers in the trash. Yeah, ah, thank you. Thank you, With friend. that, Nick, go ahead. <laughs> no. We bid you adieu. Nick. Give us the Nicky sign-off. Yep, give us the patented Nicky sign-off. I never sign-off sign off off. That's not my thing. That's, that was the yak. Thank you for listening and watching. Like and subscribe on YouTube. New episode of Wrestling just came out. Uh, be sure to listen to that. Uh, Sass tweeted a picture of his mustache. Be sure to like and retweet yeah. that. Uh, Roan, not doing anything. <laughs> Thank you.